you guys, welcome to the last day. We're doing these herbarium starter kits, which will look similar to this. It has a silicone gel in there. Um, this silicone gel is not, I repeat, not to consume. Don't drink it. It's only to put in this jar, okay? So let's take a look and see what's in here. I already cut mine right here. You guys might struggle a little because there's a little clear dot you need to peel off and then get into your kit. So let's take a look at the things that are in there. You don't need that just to take up space. You have your silicone oil, okay? And you really don't want this to get on your hands, in your eyes, on your clothes or anything. So please be very careful. Have an adult help you with this. And what else do we have in here? We have some film. We have our instructions on the back of this. And then, oh, tweezers. Get a nice pair of tweezers. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out of the little case. These are pointy and it has a little protection thing there that keep them closed. We'll set that on the side. Let's take out our jar. So cute. Okay, and this, this is a glass jar so you'll wanna be careful with that. Make sure it has a good lid with a nice seal. And you'll want to make sure that you really get that seal on there good once we have everything in there. Okay, so I'll put that on the side. Um, and it does say, read carefully before you start. So we're going to go over all of these instructions. Um, it does say, uh, please check the bottle before you start to make sure the cap is on there tightly. Yep, mine works really well. Keep out of reach of children may be harmful if swallowed. I want you guys to be very careful with this and work with an adult when you are doing this herbarium kit and working with the silicone oil, okay? Now, the first thing that we're going to do is put the film in the middle of the plastic bottle. This is the film right here. Everybody's might be a little bit different. Mine has a little fairy on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Take this out. Oh, it's so cute. And then I'm noticing mine has a little bit of a black line right here. I'm gonna cut that black line off. I don't want any of that to show may have a little bit down here too. I'm just gonna trim that. You guys might have a perfect one. Mine I just noticed a little bit where the lines were to cut it were still there. So I'm just trimming that so I don't see those at all. Okay, now it says to put this in the bottle. So I'm gonna, I have to slightly roll it just a little for it to fit. And it's actually the perfect size where it's sitting in there perfectly and not pushed up, like it's not too small, like it's right in the center. I love that. Okay, so that also means that I didn't cut too much of that off. It's tight and it fits right there in the center. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is let's take a look at this. Oh, there's tiny little hydrangeas on top of this, my stuff, it's called sisal, this little stringy straw-like stuff. These little flowers are so delicate, they're actually real flowers. So you'll need to be very, very careful with those. Um, they, they will break apart. Um, the color from your flowers or the, the sisal, if you move it around too much when it's in the silicone oil, that color may break off. 
um, it, there's a dye in there. And so we don't want to move it around too much after we put the oil in, okay? So I'm gonna set that down. Now it says to take these little, it's calling it crushed ice and put a, a few on either side of your film. And what this does is it just keeps that film balanced in the middle, in there. And if you wanted to push anything around, you could take your tweezers and just kind of arrange how those little guys are doing in there okay so my film is again still in the middle you can see that really good on the side vision great okay now we're going to split the hydrangeas into small parts and place them in front and behind the film um, according to your own preference so the tweezers had a little piece of plastic on it. I don't want to lose that. So I'm just going to put it in there. And now I'm going to take my tweezers and just grab a little bit of the hydrangea. And these are so delicate. So delicate. Maybe if I pull some of this thistle stuff apart, then I can grab a hydrangea better. Ooh, it's, so my hydrangea is all stuck, like it's a whole branch. Look at that, it's a whole piece. Here's another whole piece. So you could take one of the branches and put it in there, or you could pull, pull it apart a little bit. I'm just taking this little piece. It's so yellow. There we go. And I can just kind of flip it around a little bit. I want that stem facing down, so maybe I'll try and go at it from this angle. And I'm going to use the back side of my tweezers. Oh, there we go. So I have it how I look, how I want it to look in there right now. You can see right there. But I also want some on the other side. So let's take a look. This is a big piece of hydrangea. Some parts are kind of falling off. I'm going to take my scissors, just clip off a little bit so it's a little more manageable rather than kind of this little bush. I'm trying to be very careful that I don't like pull off all the petals because again this is very delicate. I'm going to go on the back side now. I like how you can sandwich it between. So I have some hydrangea on one side and I have some on the other. Now it says to arrange some of this sisal where you would like it too. I'm going to poke a little bit of that down. And I've kind of lost my hydrangea that I had right there, so I'm going to put this little piece in the front so you can just start arranging it. I know it's hard for you to see what I'm doing. <laughs> So there's a little bit surrounding the fairy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit over here too. Take a little bit of this, break it apart. Now I'm gonna put it in front of the film. This makes it very dimensional. You just have to be careful when you're pushing and pulling on that film, you want it to stay pretty much in the center. Mm -hmm. And I'm 
going to do a little hydrangea on this side too. These um, little tweezers are such a nice touch. And the cool thing about this thistle <laughs> is it gives some height to what we're doing and it can actually make those hydrangeas look like they're suspended um, because the thistle kind of catches those petals. I'm just going to push that down a little bit. wanting to come out. Okay. And I'm just going to snip off another little piece. This is the fun part. Creating the little terrarium that our little fairy is in. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So I tried to maintain the balance of the parts with the tweezers, just like the instructions say. Um, and then I think we're about ready to pour the silicone in evenly. So let's go ahead and open this up. Need a little, actually my tweezers can help me. Now you'll want a parent or an adult to help you with this part. Your parent needs to do this part and pouring it in. Okay, everybody? So for the adult, what we are going to do is pour this on either side of that film. The film is sticking up when we pour. We're going to pour a little bit over here, a little bit over here. We want it to be even. Okay. And there's a little top right there that's protecting, so it's a little squeeze bottle. And so we can start to squeeze it a little bit on each side. I'm just going to take a look at it. Things are settling, looking good. And the bottle is kind of tough to squeeze. pouring it in there. And I'm just gonna take little breaks, make sure I like what I'm seeing. It's looking good. Little by little. Do I want any more of this in there? I think I'm good. And you'll want to pour all of the silicone inside. Almost done. My film, though, kind of moved a little, so I'm going to move it back. Oops. Okay, guys. Pouring it in is not the easiest, like it takes a lot of hand strength, you gotta take lots of breaks. Um, but it's good that you do it little by little so you can tell if you like. Oh, I'm very happy with mine. 
just like that. So then I'm going to go ahead and take my lid and make sure mom, dad, and uncle, make sure it is on secure and tight. Okay, because we don't want to get in this again. Wow. Mine turned out really, really cute. If I turn it like this, you might get a little bubble action, you can see, but when you look at it head on, they look so good. So good. So I'm just gonna go wash my hands now, clean up my mess, and hopefully you guys just love your herbarium. Have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye.